What's up guys, the Panthers here, and welcome back to another draft video. Centurions are in the game, which means Centurions are in the draft, and in packs, which means we could play with them, and we could pack them. Joaquin is the first Centurion shown. 87 pace and shooting and dribbling, that triple stat of dreams. 91 passing. An S shot trait and flare trait. Now I want to use the Centurions today, guys. So I think in spite of who else may pop up, uh, every time a Centurion pops, even if they fit the team or not, I'm just going to take them. And uh, even though he's going to go into that right midfield, right back roll, sorry, we'll probably play him in the camera roll and just swap him out. So we are going to take Joaquin. And listen, fair play to EA for card designs, right? Because they have been sensational this year. Our first striker is going to be... Ole Gunnar Olshaw. And our first cam is going to be, hmm, I guess Leroy Zane. Four star, three star, six foot tall. First has got like slightly better dribbling. Slightly better dribbling. Slightly better passing. He's actually got this like positioning and finishing is the same as that shot power that's different and then loads of less pace but more stamina. Do you know what? I think I'm going to take Verts. I think I just prefer him as a player. Striker number two. Well, there you go. That worked out quite nicely, didn't it? Joselu, Wilson, Griezmann. We're going to take Werner the Burner. And that's two Germans from the Bundesliga in there. And Cam number three, Zion Fleming. Isco, Madison, Coutinho, Lucas Paqueta. We'll take... Paqueta's probably the most well-rounded player here. Madison probably has the best stats that are actually key and probably won't be playing anyway. And obviously gets that link for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in a DM. There you go. So we are going to ignore Yaya Torre. I tell you what, look at the stats there. Arnold has two less pace, one more dribbling, two more shooting, three more defending, one less passing, seven less physical. Yaya's 4-4, four, four, Arnold's 3-3, three, three. Yaya's 6-2. Arnold has outside the foot shot trait and power free kick trait. And he's going to go in there. And that's another German from the Bundesliga sitting in that uh, slot right there. And I suppose just to keep it true to uh, the course, we'll put in Hoffler. Now, with the Shadow Chem style, he's actually okay. We need to get a third Chem point on him, but he's okay. Jordi Alba here would be nice. No, so we're either going to go with Hernandez or... I didn't really want to take Alfonso Davies because he's got a couple of special cards. But Alfonso Davies gives Werner... Burtz, Arnold, and Core, the chem. And that does make Core reasonable. His passing is terrible. Arnold going in there with the engine. Good pace. Great dribbling boost. Great passing boost. And he's got good defending and good physicals with great long shots. I think he could be a little bit of fun. I'm not even going to lie. Our first centre-back is going to be... I guess a Kanji makes the most sense just to get the Premier League links. He's got a Hunter as well, and he's already got good defending. <clears throat> so that pace boost is just quite nice. And then centre-back number two. Marquez does make sense because he gets full chem. Smalling does not make sense. Kere makes real good sense. German and Premier League. And a shadow chem salt. And five-star weak foot. He's actually a very... For an 85... Do you know what? He's so cheap on the market as well. I bought him for some video or another uh, a while back. Yeah, he's actually gone up a little bit now, but 26k for a guy that once we pop him in there has got 89 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, incredible physicals, 93 interceptions, 88 defensive awareness, 99 slide tackle, and 95 stand tackle. With good short passing and good dribbling. That's just such a good card. With five star weak foot as well. That is ooh, cheeky. That is really a good card. Um I am very tempted to go for Ter Stegen in goal. I know Trap gets full chem. But Ter Stegen has better diving, better reflexes, better handling, better kicking, and the same positioning and better speed. And gets two chem points. So I don't mind that at all. Alright, on to the bench we go, guys. Come on, give me some more Centurions. We'll take uh, Stefan Ortega Moreno. We 
don't actually gain all... Oh, we lose two chem with him there. Come on. Centurions only, please. Informed Bremer doesn't really work. None of these fullbacks work. So the, re the realistic choices are Laporte, which, I mean, we could put Laporte in a go, Ortega, Laporte, Akanji. I don't think I want to do that. Or Bremer. And we'll take Bremer. Because Bremer's got some good stats. He can... Uh, he could just be popped in there. Jimenez next up. Bittencourt next up. I think Bittencourt goes in there, gives us a bit more chem, does he? No, he does not. What do I need to improve in this team? I mean, this team's okay in general. We haven't seen an icon yet. And we still haven't seen an icon yet. There we go. There we go. I knew it was coming. Now, this is actually an interesting choice, right? Because the question is, where's the weakest link in the team? Obviously, Joaquin at right back is not ideal. And I think I want to bring him up into that cam role. So the logical choice would be to take Rude Hullet. Put Rude Hullet in at DM alongside Arnold. Put Joaquin up at cam and then try and get a fullback. Or take Rude Hullet, play him at right back. Put Joaquin in at cam and wait for a better DM. Or take Pele. And just put him in at cam. That's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. I feel like we're going to get some more icons anyway. Ooh, we did. We got Petr Cech. Don't need him. We've got Dumfries. We've got Kamavinga. We've got Phillips. Now, Phillips in at DM. Over core. I don't think loses anybody any chemistry. Maybe Ter Stegen. But is definitely the smart choice. We gain one chem overall. Davies lost a chem point. But of course... Oh, it's only three chem there. That is fantastic. The fact that none of the Premier League players lose chemistry if I just start Pele means I'm just going to start Pele. Man, this team is really coming along nicely, huh? Next up. Whoa! Oh, my days. I mean, I quite literally have to take Lothar Mateus, don't I? Because again, I want to play Joaquin in at Cam. I'll probably, do you know what? I'll probably put Pele at striker, Joaquin at Cam, sub off Solskjaer, and then put either Lothar Mateus at right back. And he would be a good right back. Beckham, Donovan don't care about. Benzema don't care about. The only other player that we could take is Johan Cruyff. Five star, five star, high low work rates, ridiculous stats. I've got to take him. We do lose chemistry by starting him. We won't lose chemistry by starting him there, though. And then Joaquin. How many chem points do I lose? Yeah. I think we're going to start Joaquin and I'll sub Pele on for Solskjaer. Unless, of course, we get something else incredible in these last four picks. There's another sub for us for Timo Werner. That's what I like to see, EA. This is much more like it. Renner, Dybala and Kunku. It's a shame their positions are, are wrong. We'll take Dybala. I don't think either of these players are going to get onto the bench. Sorry, onto the field. It's going to be Pele, Solskjaer, Mbappe, Werner. And that is probably about it. Diaby can come onto the bench. Only 87 rated. And then last pick for us for this draft is a pretty dead pick. Joao Felix, on he goes. Now, as far as a manager goes, Bundesliga. German Bundesliga is about all we uh, we want, really. But well, we've got German. We just didn't get the Bundesliga. Um, There you go, guys. I quite like this draft. It's a little bit of a... Interesting draft with the chemistry system. We have got Joaquin in at left cam. Right-footed, four-star, four-star. Is Verts? Verts is right-footed as well, isn't he? Yeah, I am going to start Joaquin on that right-hand side, though. Definitely Werner and Solskjaer are going to be coming off from Mbappe and Pele if I need it. Otherwise, I'm excited to use this draft. Let's get into the action. All right, guys. Our first opponent for today had an 89-rated team. Oh, wow. 
Oh, what a team. Guerrero and Delict are a bit of misfits. And of course, especially in draft, good team doesn't mean anything. It just comes down to uh, not blind luck, really, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh! Mate, first attack for this guy. Yeah, you knew it. You just knew it, didn't you? You just knew it. William Mateus. That's the one. Let's go on, Bops. Let's go. Henry! <laughs> oh, my days. He's found me well off the ball. I can't believe that pass just didn't connect to Pele, though. So dumb, man. So dumb. All right, Lothar Mateus. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Nice. I, I, can't, I can't believe I haven't scored a goal. I'm trying to just do it simple as well. All right, there we go. There we go. Pele finally scores. Go on in, Joaquin. Let's go, baby. Joaquin, yes. The old man has it. Let's go. No stats needed. No chem needed. The old man has it. Antonio Di Natale. Not a particularly strong challenge. And a goal! Can someone get on the Boom. end of this? Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Mbappe! Thank you, Mbappe. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Oh, he's left his marker for days. Oh, my days. I genuinely can't believe this. Oh my, I can't. I know I'm winning comfortably. I don't know how I haven't scored about 10 goals in this game. 4.5 XG from 14 shots. I just, uh... There's no way, man. There's literally no way. Thank you, Mbappe. Jesus Christ. And he has options available. This could finish it. Alrighty. There we go. F guys, finally. Oh, my days. I don't think I've ever been a, as attacking, like, as dominant as I have been in a game before. And I know I've scored five goals, and so it's kind of like, oh, you've, you've done it, right? I just don't know if I've ever been this dominant in attack. And it being so hard. Calvin Phillips. Will it happen for them? Oh, good save. Man alive, this Neuer is just on something. And over comes the oh, yes! Yep, of course, a Kanji with a bicycle kick is the one that we score again, isn't it? No Alright, guys, so a comfortable win. Like, and it was a comfortable win. It just wasn't a comfortable win. Do you know what I mean? It was a weird one. Mbappe with a hattie. My XG is going to be crazy here. It's going to be crazy. 31 shots. Only 8.5 XG, but not bad. Look at where those shots are from. I don't even know. What did it, did his goalkeeper get a 10 rating? He must have done. 7.8. Let's look at where those saves were. Look at that. Just look at that. Off the woodwork twice. Some unbelievable saves. All right, second round. Here we go. All right, guys. Round two. Let's hope it's uh, as smooth sailing as round one. This guy has got some nice players. It's actually a pretty weak draft, to be fair. I'd be surprised if he didn't make some subs straight away. Pacey, skilly kind of guy. Okay, he also knows how to do power. Okay, this is going to be a game, guys. So I can feel it. Mate, what is that? <laughs> on, Verts. Henry F. Hey, he's taking me out, man. Joaquin, the Centurion scores. Let's go. Come on. Go on, Pele. Let's go, baby. Come on. Well, there we have it. No surprise, really. The Trojans have controlled more of the ball in the last 15 minutes. Bobs. Born and Bops. There we go. It has been coming. 
keeps on with his challenge. Well, there we are. Confirmation that the Trojans have had nice. the ball in the game so far and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more nice. Nice. There we go. That's game. Oh, then. Arnold. Love it. Love it. Arnold breaking forward into that little roll there. And we're hitting ourselves a fiver. Joaquin. This guy's lost all composure. I don't know why he carries on playing. He's just going to do that with your goalkeeper. He might as well just back out of the game. Oh, this guy's genuinely lost all composure, guys. Trying to foul me constantly. Pulling this keeper out constantly. Dude, for 10, 10 in game minutes, maybe you should wait it out. But I don't know. Bit of a waste of time at this point. Oh, I've done it again. A 90 minute, 90th minute bicycle kick from a corner for the second game in a row. This time, Kylian Mbappe. All right, guys, that is us through to the second round. I'm genuinely surprised this guy stayed for the whole time. It, it like, I thought the first round was a mad game. I might have had more shots this game than that one. What, I have like 37 shots last game? How many did we have this time around? It was 29 shots this time. I'll see you guys in the semi-final. All right, guys, the semi-final. We are up against good back line, good midfield, good front line. Not a crazy team. Like, none of the extreme OP meta players. And Pickford in goal as well. But it's certainly a, uh, a nice... Just give me the defender that I want, EA. Just give me the defender that I want. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Lothar. Let's go. Lovely. 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 Let's go. Come on. Yeah, you're going to quit, aren't you? Goodbye. I'm into the final. I'll see you there. All right, guys. The final. We are up against Navas Cheeky. Oh, he's got a couple of Real Madrid players in there. Front line is insane. Back line's good. Midfield, not so great. Let's see. Oh, he got a Solskjaer. Let's go, baby. That's 1-0. Well, I just need EA to start sorting me out a bit better with, uh, with positioning and tackles and stuff. It's a joke. I'm, I'm just... I'm sick of this game sometimes, guys. I'm sick of this game sometimes. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Mbappe. Come on. Let's go, Pele. Come on. This guy quit at half time, guys. Let's go. I mean, four generally easy matches there, to be fair. Um, the first two, definitely so. The, se the th semi final, the guy was actually a good player. I'm very surprised he quit at 2 1 down. And uh, yeah, we get ourselves the four wins, which gives us the worst reward, obviously. Um, two rare gold packs and a premium gold pack. But also. We have now got ourselves two more objectives for the winter draft. We've got play 10. Did that say two more? Oh, it says one more. Just play 10. So we need to win one more tomorrow and then win 20. So, yeah, we don't actually get any bonus packs today. All we do get, though, is out of position Fofana. He looks like a pretty decent card. I believe he can play center back as well. Great pace. Good defending and physical. Um, he can play right mid and right wing. There you go. So let's open our packs though, guys, and see what we have got for our rewards. Can we pack ourselves a Centurion player? I tell you what, Arnold felt nice. Joaquin felt okay, but Mbappe was just the main man in that draft. He was just 
deadly. Pele as well, beastly. Um, and uh, yeah, I did quite like the centre back pairing of Kere and Akanji as well. So we don't even get lights up on the first pack. This, I believe, um, is pretty much the only reward that you could comfortably not make profit from. Every other reward, I think, so long as you sell at the right time, you're pretty much banked to make profit. This one, though, not so much. And that is because this year, consumables are just worthless. So before, you used to be able to pack a Shadow or a Hunter or something, and it'd be worth loads. This time around, not the case. And that is going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.